Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future training. Training, And then uh, we strongly recommend to do some proper training before you use your real money. Gentlemen, it's very important uh, to do that. Be educated before you start using real money. Uh, we're going to start today with the TI-7. We now is only three o'clock and um, we still have uh, quite a few trades open uh, we're gonna start i mean i don't uh, like to trade the dax in the u.s session i prefer the dax in the european session but just giving you an idea and we can close position and it is done 2300 so you can always you have a button you can a close position and it is done let's look at another chart is uh, the gold is lately the gold has been very impressive and uh, we can see uh, the gold trade uh, on the last one here on the last trade made over 2600 actually it's time to close it so what you do is very easy you just say close position so you start closing position easily and the ones you wanted to keep it running you can always keep it running if you want to uh, if we want to uh, look at the uh, OIM, we have 23. So we're going to go ahead and close position as well. Super, 2300. On the ES, I mean, you can go two rounds a day, three rounds, depends if the market moving. Today, earlier, the market was not moving between 10 o'clock on the other channel till 11 o'clock, and then it start running. So, this is a swing trading. This is the last trade on the swing, and it's been doing very well. This is the five minutes close. This is 2500. Also, it's uh, very good for someone else's experience to have uh, different accounts for uh, different auto trades or different. Uh, you can scalp on one auto trade, you can swing on another auto trade. It's always good uh, to hedge the future market. But this one here is already done. Our daily target is 1200 but there is around $412 more out there based on this last contract. So we can close it. There we go. It's finished. 1625. Beautiful. Eight range. Beautiful. Beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Small losing trade. I can live with a small losing trade anytime. now we are going to uh, look at the CL uh, it's too early to close it I'm not gonna close it uh, this one here I'm not gonna close the CL right now it's too early let it run we'll see maybe we can grab a little bit more out of it on the last half an hour now it's 311 uh, uh, the Nasdaq. If you if you wanted to swing trade the market, you can swing trade the market. We are gonna close it. And then uh, 
we have on the AS4000 we can uh, overwrite close position if you want to swing trade this is lovely 4500 Uh, the gold is done. Eighteen. And the CL four minutes. I'm going to leave it running for now. It's still too early for the CL. So. Uh, let's look at the ones is already done for today, which most of them were done on the other channel. We have the CL 55 second. I believe this one here was on the other channel. We we did this this one here, and then uh, we had uh, the CL five minutes. Also, it was on the other channel. We did this one. The CL they were running when the ES uh, were struggling this one in early. Uh, the DAX, as usual, four minutes. Uh, the NASDAQ 38 uh, second did very well. Uh, ES four minutes, uh, two minutes ES. And um, you can see they're all in the same range price. Uh, Russell, five minutes. ES, I believe this one was on the other channel. And uh, two minutes NASDAQ, CL five minutes, did very well. ES five minutes and ES 11 range. On the 11 range, you don't take that much trade. I mean, we have it to really look. There is a big gap between each trade and there is only like maybe one or two trades a day. But the trades are effective when you are using the high time frame. So there is more chances on those trades. It depends what you want to do, really. And the 14 second, I'm sure it was on the other room. Uh, we nailed that trade. It was uh, really boring today. And then when the market fired up, uh, we were right there. So this is uh, uh, the 14 second. Uh, the TI-7. Uh, I want to highlight this one here has uh, five different automated trade. And uh, we are testing it. We have not uh, released it yet. You know, we had a reversal signal on the ES here. I mean, there is a, an ATM strategy, uh, an automated strategy signal, uh, pullback re-entry, the FIB re-entry signal. So there is around five auto trades on this one here. But when we had the fired, when the ES fired the uh, reversal here, as you see, because of this market analyzer, it's going to keep confirming it's going to the long side, which it is very advantage when you are using a normal chart uh, to understand where you are in the market or if you have an opening position. You know, you need to know, let's say you are on a trade with the YM and you have 1390, it's the end of the day. We can look at the YM, see how is the momentum, how strong it is. Is it a weak trend, long trend? And then you can make a decision on it if you want to increase your profit or you want to just um, increase your trailing stop and secure some of your profit, which I find it very useful. Anyway, based on the last entry signal only, not the whole day, it's based on one contract. Uh, we have almost two, yeah, 200 takes into the profit based on one contract on the ES. And NASDAQ, we have 89 takes based on the last entry signal. And the YM is 312 takes based on the last entry signal. Now, if you don't have money to trade all of it, that's very fine. You can trade the ES, YM, and NASDAQ. And uh, this is a very good, it's based on one contract. Only one contract is 200 take, 94 takes, and 313 takes. So this is a really, uh, I find it very useful when you are auto trading to keep your eye 
uh, you don't have to be a legend uh, with a uh, trader, but at least you can uh, monitor the one minute and you can monitor the market analyzer to see what's going on in the market. And that can really give you guidance. Uh, like if, like what we are showing here, uh, the market was getting a flat and getting a closer to the trillion stop and you have 1500. But then we can look at the YM here and it keep telling us stay in that trade really. And that it is really powerful because uh, maybe you are using one type of signal, uh, let's say reversal, which most of the reversal out there, they are a repaint, they are fake reversal. When they plot reversal, they don't stay on the bar, they just keep moving with the new bar. This is called repaint indicator, which they are useless. Our reversal, when a fire reversal stays on that bar. So we had a fire reversal here, the market pulled back, then we had another reversal, and then the market pulled back. And when you are on a trade, you panic, you know. And um, should I exit? Should I maximize my profit? So this is a good solution to look at the chart and look at the, the pressure in the market, the momentum to see, should we stay or should, should we get out? So this is a really something uh, I find it uh, very interesting. So let's look at the uh, uh, precision auto trade. Also is a very powerful auto trade. It's very friendly use for beginners. We still have two charts as uh, the YM, two minutes. And uh, we have uh, the ES two minutes is doing very well, uh, the two minutes. Uh, we showed that yesterday as well. Also here you can say close position. And we are close position today on 2500. So you can see because the market was moving today, uh, the amount of money is much more. Uh, on the CL also, 1900, this is a very nice trade. Uh, CL 1200, beautiful the way the CL handled today the trades. Reversal and trading with the trend. Reversal, trading with the trend. Beautiful. Uh, ES 51 second, 1225. ES 3 minutes. Then we have the ES 28 second. For people don't want to use too much uh, stop loss, this is an idea or they are a lack of uh, knowledge. I mean, they're not really good with trading or something. So stop loss, the small stop loss, they can keep keep them a little bit safe, more safe, safer. Uh, and then you have the NASDAQ 39 second, 350 takes, also beautiful trade, long, reverse, super good. I love it. I love this. I love this kind of trades. I don't care today, you may be 1,000, tomorrow 500, day after 200 minus, doesn't matter. But the way it's handling that the man manual trading is very hard to copy those trades. And then uh, we have uh, the ES, which we highlight every day, the, uh, the 170 takes, 1,000. ES 32nd, 1,500. NASDAQ uh, 1500 and then another NASDAQ 3 minutes 1200 and then uh, we have the Russell 19 second look at this beauty not the PNL look at this one two small trade small trade small trade and then bang did not miss not even one trade on the 19th second. This is beautiful. Took the trade with the trend and a reversal. Twelve range, uh, CL, and then we have the NASDAQ, uh, three minutes. We have CL 20 second. Also, look at this. 
Don't lose a trait. I love it. One, two, three, and four is done. By 11.32, done and over. That kind of trades I love. We started around, uh, on this one here started around 11 o'clock. No, there is a smaller trade before that. So we started around 9.30 and uh, took those trades and then NASDAQ three minutes also, 1200. Folks, that's all that we have. I wanna say thank you very much. God bless you all. And uh, we'll see you uh, another day. Bye for now.